ancestors of these iguanas almost certainly lived in the jungles of Central America. There, still today, you can see iguanas in the trees overhanging the rivers, nibbling leaves, or on rafts of reeds. Just occasionally, some are swept out to sea, and the vast majority, of course, die there. But just a few, a long time ago, were fortunate enough to be swept by favorable currents out to the ocean and pitched up here. In their ancestral rainforest habitat, iguanas are vegetarians. Here, they browse on juicy leaves. But the iguanas that first appeared in the Galapagos could find no such things. So these iguanas, to survive, had to eat the only kind of leaf that was available. seaweed. And to get the best of that, they had to do something even more radical. They had to swim. They even learned to dive. They acquired the ability to hold their breath for up to an hour so that they could swim down to a depth of 20 meters. Their claws strengthened so they could cling to the rocks on the seabed. And under the water, they found an endless supply of seaweed, which grew in abundance in the nutrient-rich currents that flow around the islands. But that was not all. Their snouts became flatter to help them graze. And their teeth became sharper to grip the slippery seaweed. 